friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. We were going to give her a bath today, but she's been feeling a little punky. I don't know, she's just been a bit lethargic and kind of, just not kind of with it. So I'm not exactly sure if there's anything wrong. It's been pretty warm here getting up to the mid to high uh, eight, 80s, which isn't all that hot for here, but she just seems to have, um, let me see, yes, there we are. Okay, let me just get my screen going up here like this. There, now I can see. Um, anyway, she's just not feeling that great. So we didn't have a bath this morning. We didn't give her a bath. She's just a little... Like I said, a little punky. She didn't eat all of her breakfast in the beginning and in the in the morning. That, Hi, Pam. Good to see you. And that's just, I don't know, it's not exactly like her. So um, thank you, Pam, for sharing. So I just thought she's just going to be her little self today. She's just going to rest. And um, it's coming up to a Memorial Day weekend. Do you have any plans? Hey, Diane, good to see you. Um, we don't have any big plans. I think we're just gonna rest and relax with three days off, um, including Monday. Um, so that'll be really nice, but I'm still gonna do my live on Friday afternoon because I'm thinking that some of, some of us might be sitting around with nothing else to do and planning a weekend of stamping, which is exactly what I'm gonna be doing, is stamping. I don't know about you. Um, so, I thought with regard to stamping, let's kind of talk about stamping. News. Okay, I always go over the news first. The news, you're aware of my host code, right? So when you order from me, and there's a link right above, I put the link up above, um, and you spend over $50, you place an over $50 order, not including shipping or um, tax, you can use my host code, which I've also put up there. And if you use my host code, you get special gifts. And this month, my special host code gift is pearls. I think I've, I've got them in a little baggie, but they are really gorgeous. They're, um, well, they used to be three different sizes. I think now they're down to two different sizes of pearls because I use them pretty often. And I really love these pearls. You can color them with your Stampin' Blends. And so if you would like uh, some pearls in the month of May, now beginning in June, I'll have a different gift. And all you have to do is use my host code. And it's pretty plain where it is, but there's, um, if you look under rewards on my website, you can see exactly how to use the host code. Because I like to send gifts to my, to my customers and my friends. Okay, other um, news. The last six days of the joining special, May 31st is the last day that you can get an additional uh, $30. Um, let me see. So you normally pay $99 to join Stampin' Up! And all that means is that you, after that day, you get 20% off on all goodies and all products. Um, so right now, if you join, you pay $99, you normally get $125. Yes, it's a $30 extra. Now you get $55 total free product. You pick what you want, $155, and, you, and it all ships free. And it really is fabulous. I've told you about that before, and I love, I love, my, I love being in Stampin' Up! I joined eight years ago. And some of my best friends are in Stampin' Up! And I've made wonderful new friends and relationships. And um, So if you're interested in the slightest or you just want to get free goodies, no obligation for the first three months, just join. And do it before the 31st so you get all that extra. Okay, um, then what we're going to do today. Hey, Allison, good to see you. I'm going to go ahead and put Ellie down because as I mentioned, she's just a little punky today. And she's, she's just kind of in a blah mood. So I'm going to go ahead and put her down. And the other business news, kind of, that I wanted to talk to you about, which is something free from Stampin' Up! 
and you may or may not know about it, but I'm going to bring the camera down, is a new free download called United Through Creativity. And I want to talk to you about it a little bit today, and we are going to use it in our, pro we're going to make one or two projects today, depending on what you guys think. So this is a digital download. What is a digital download? Hey Kay, good to see you from North Carolina. Um, a digital download means you download it into your computer. You tell your computer to save it and it saves it right into your computer and then you can print it off anytime you want. Now what is the cost of this new special download from Stampin' Up? Here's what they're saying, free to the world. It's free to the world. It's nothing. It, it costs you nothing. All you do is download it into your computer. It's like several free stamp sets is really what it is. And what you do is you print it out on, um, hopefully on cardstock. Now I have a little story to tell you about this. We can't get our printer to print on cardstock. So I thought, well, Many of you probably don't have a printer that will print on cardstock, so I figured out how to use it, and I'm going to show you that today. So let's take a look at what's in this packet, this digital download called United Through Creativity. Um, this is the first page, so you just print it out. I printed it out first just on regular computer paper. Then we tried the cardstock. That didn't work, so I'm using the regular computer paper. Thank you, Kay, for sharing. So what it is, is a bunch of uh, images and sentiments in different colors and different languages, um, kind of exploring diversity. And so, for example, I, I don't think I have the pages in the right order because I've been pulling them out and playing with them and everything, but this one is when we unite our create, creative light, we lighten people's hearts. And then you have it in different colors, different languages, uh, we belong together, you're not a drop in the ocean, you're an entire ocean in a drop. Um, and then here's more colors, more languages. The, I think I've gotten the pages so that all the sentiments are together. Now, here is one of the images. I'm going to move it up just a little bit so you can see that pretty flower. And all of these are foreign languages to me. Um, French and German, I think. But the the image is one that I made as, I'm gonna show it to you as a, as a sample here in a minute. Here's another one. Um, this is a maple leaf. I think this might be for our Canadian friends. And I already cut out one of the sentiments that says, how's it going, A? Eh? And then true north, we have true north. Here is a beautiful leaf. Now some of you may know barking. I think she sees something. Um, you may know these languages. You may know um, this, you know, what country this might be from. I think they've tried to get out to express, get images and sentiments from a lot of different countries to bring us all together in creativity. So we do have a sentiment good as gold. Here are some other beautiful flowers. I see a rose, a daffodil, I don't know what that is, maybe a succulent, and that might be a shamrock, I'm not sure. Great, uh, great sentiments, what absolutely fabulous news, chin up, it'll all come out in the wash, fancy a cuppa, I don't know, I don't think we really say that. Um, oh, it's in the 90s there, Pam, okay, yeah, it's starting to really get warm. Here are some darling little, um, I think they're Dutch shoes. And again, I don't know what these uh, sentiments say, but they're very cute. Here is another, um, this could be from Australia, some type of an Australian plant. If you guys know it, let me know. Thistle, Allison, okay, a thistle. Is that from a particular Scotland? Okay, I, I'm glad you guys can fill in for me. Um, and it says, good day, you beaut, you're a true blue friend. Here is some wine and cheese, and I think this is for uh, wine and cheese and grapes. I think this is for our French friends. Um, and this has uh, some beautiful French sentiments. You'd never know that I took French in high school and college. I can't remember a single thing. 
Um, oh, Allison, you just printed all of them. Okay, yeah, it's, I'm interested to see what people do also. This is one I might use, and I'm gonna look up, um, this is like pass the something, and that could be wine. I don't know. Um, everyone come together plus beauty. I, I hate to even do that because I know so little anymore. Uh, the cuppa is from England, okay. And then this is a very interesting one. It's kind of like all the world, symbols of all the world, all put together, kind of. Maybe some of you know what, what this really is, and it's four of the same, I'm pretty sure it's four of the same things. So you could make four cards out of this. But I am, that looks like Big Ben. Um, I, I have to say, I just, I just don't know. So maybe some of you do. Now here's what we're gonna use today. And I've printed two of these. This is, I believe, for uh, the United States. It's a piece of apple, it's a pie, an apple pie, right? And then the sentiments are, um, here for you through thick and thin, hang in there, and you see they're in different colors. You're the best thing since sliced bread. Now, a friend of mine said that is a little bit odd because we're talking about pie, and so what is it with the bread? We don't really know. But I am gonna use just the you're the best thing right now for today's cards. So let me move that. I wanted to let you know, and the down, the link, it's kind of a lot of computer gobbledygook, but I put it for you right up at the top of our, of this, um, of this Facebook Live. The, the computer language is up there. Copy it and paste it into another tab on your computer and you can get this too. It's free for the world. So here are some of the cards that I've made so far. I use the beautiful flowers, which kind of look like daffodils. And I, I've used just a printer paper and I'm gonna show you how to do that. I put it on a backing of um, basic white cardstock and then I cut out and glued on how's it going and I took off the EH because we don't really say that here and I put the little added the little question mark and I'm going to show you how how to do that I added some um, little sequins and then I just put a plain piece of paper inside and this is on daffodil delight paper and colored in with stamp and blends now this is the one I had really wanted to do oh and I forgot to show you because I only printed out one page of this. I think this really goes with the theme of the, uh, of the entire thing. And so I cut out what you see here, but these are other ones that you can cut out. And I, I might do these later. This is, it looks like three women hugging, or that could be a guy back in there. And then this is a couple. And I think these are really, <clears throat> oh, A might be from Canada. Oh, A-Y-E, okay, great, Patricia. You're a wealth of ideas here. But I really liked this one, um, I think because to me it communicated all the diversity, um, different colors, different, you know, of a handicapped person, different sizes, old and young, and it was kind of fun. I had out all my Stampin' Blends completely to color this. I just used, I just, it was kind of fun to figure out, you know, all their different shoes and their clothes and their hair and their skin and so I really like this card this is a mini uh, slimline card six by three I haven't done anything inside yet so it's six by six actually and uh, scored at three inches so it turns out to be a six by three front and it worked out fine for all that group of diverse people you like the nice hugs. Yes, I do too, Patricia. So that is that is one of my favorites. But today, I thought, I haven't even played with this, but I thought we'd do it together, and I've got two different sheets so we can make two different color apple pies if we want to. Well, different with different color apples, because I'm thinking, okay, is it red apples or is it green apples? So let me show you how I've been doing this with plain computer paper in case you don't have a printer that prints cardstock. Now cardstock would be a completely different animal and you could cut it real easily on your paper trimmer and whatnot. But let's just start with one of these. 
And what I've done is I've started the cards and figured out what I want. So um, the sentiments here that I want to use, you're the best thing. And I'm going to cut off since sliced bread. Um, this looks like Poppy Parade to me. This looks like Mint Macaron. And I'm not sure that could be Bumblebee. I'm not really sure. But I decided to go with the Poppy Parade for both the Green Apple card and the the I'm going to do a Poppy Parade card. Um, so what I've done is I've chosen, I'm going to make two cards. We'll see if we have time. One is going to use the Red Apples and the Poppy Parade. So I've gone ahead to just, um, you know, spiff it up a little bit, give a little more interest. I've cut with the wonderful Scallop Contour dies brand new in the new catalog. If you don't have these, I'm telling you, you must get them. And I'm using the biggest one, which has these neat scallops outside and it fits perfectly on an A2 card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half on the front. And then I decided to use Granny Apple Green. I mean, if you're gonna have a pie probably made by Granny, you gotta go with Granny Apple Green, right? So here's the Granny Apple Green one. So this is gonna be our beginning. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna glue both of these down. Um, and we'll kind of, we'll just see how this works. But um, I wanted you to know, since this is free, I mean, who can resist a free stamp set, right? And it's kind of like two or three stamp sets with these fun images. So I want you to be able to get something free and to know how to use it once you get it. And so I'm gonna use Stampin' Blends to color my images, but you know something? You could also use the Stampin' Write markers or you could use um, our watercolor pencils, even without water. So that would, be, that would be an idea. Okay, so I'm gonna set these to the side. Well, maybe I'll show you. Now I've gone ahead and cut the size that I think would look good in here, inside of the Granny Apple Green or whichever one you choose, color you choose. And it's three inches by four and a quarter. Doesn't this look kind of like a, um, <laughs> this is like an elementary school uh, ruler. Okay, so I'm gonna start. Now the one thing, it, these, these stamps are not, there are no stamps, but I'm gonna use the pad underneath. And one reason is the Stampin' Pierce mat. Well, I always like it, number one. But the other thing is because the Stampin' Blends do uh, bleed, and I don't want them to bleed onto my mat, my, my underlying mat. So um, this is the piece of paper, the, the size I want. And what I've decided, the way I figured out to do it is hold it up, can you kind of see the shadow there? The size paper, I, size cardstock I want, I can manipulate and put my image over it and then cut around it. Do you see that? So I'll show you in a few minutes. First, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, I'm going to cut it out quite big and then we'll color it and then we'll, um, adhere it to our piece of cardstock. So I just want to get it off that and then we'll start coloring. And I think I'm going to go with the Granny Apple Green first. Um, the light Granny Apple Green I tested and I think it looks good as kind of the flesh of the apple. So let's try it. This is really my first time doing this. It could be a little green because the flesh of the apple is usually kind of whitish, isn't it? But let's see if we can get it to look good. And so here I'm gonna use the darker granny apple green on the edge and for this apple here. Now the one thing using the computer paper that you have to watch out for is the Stampin' Blends bleed a little more than you might want them to than they do on cardstock because this paper is thinner. So you want to stay away from your edges and then go back and get the edges. So I'm going to pull in more dark around that edge and I'm going to add a little bit more light right in here. See how that might look to lighten that up just a bit. 
In fact, I may, here's a little stamp and blend trick. Use the color lifter and go in and do a little lifting and you can create some neat shading there. Not like I really know about shading. I don't really know where to do shading, but you, some of you may know this, but um, I find that it works. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, I'm gonna go back with this dark granny apple green in color again. Get, see if I can get that edge a little darker. Okay, now we've got the pie. Now for the pie, I don't know. I've been pondering here. I think I'm gonna start with the light, oh, the ivory. Okay, let's start with ivory and see. I think, let me see, I'll try it out, out here. That looks not too bad, right, for crest? My pondering is what color do I do the pie bubbles inside the pie? Some of you let me know. Um, because I, I don't know, okay, so it might be a little more crusty. I'm gonna, crusty looking, you know, so I'm gonna add a little more. I have a light cinnamon cider here that I thought might work. That looks like, I don't necessarily know. Okay, I'm actually just gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna color the rest of the pie in this ivory. Ooh, the pie's in a pan, that just occurred to me. Okay, the pie is in a pie pan. Oh, what color should we make our pie pan? Um, goodness, we could make a poppy, we could make a poppy parade pie pan. That might bring more light to it, huh? Let's try that. I wasn't thinking, I kept thinking it was all the crust. Let's try this. Oh, I think we want the dark. Just looking at it, I think we want the dark. The dark stamp and blend. We'll just have our pie pan be red and that'll really tie both of them in. We might do the same thing on the other one if we have time to make a second one. Okay, now I wanna be real careful right in here. Do you all love your Stampin' Blends? I do. I, re I enjoy coloring. It's very peaceful. And so I like to color with my Stampin' Blends. Okay, I think that looks pretty good, don't you? I think I'm going to darken a little bit where the lines are. You know how Stampin' it Up does some of the work for us. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know I did that. Okay, let's go with the color lifter and see if we can get that out. Otherwise, I'm going to have to change my mind about how I'm going to do this. Wow, boo-boo. Okay, I'm going to try to get this at least out. And then I may actually end up just cutting the pie because I don't think I can get that out. Whoa, boo-boo. Okay, so now I've got some uh, light cinnamon cider. And I thought I might just see... Would it make the pie look a little bit like it has, like, you know, butter and brown on the top, kind of? And I'll go back in with another color. Let me see. What is this color? Light crumb cake. Okay, let's see if we can make that look a little more, just a little bit different. It doesn't look all that different, does it? I think we'll color the whole pie in the pie part with the Stampin' Blend that's the light cinnamon cider. Because I think it's going to look better. You know, some of you could do a much better job at picking out these colors. It's a little bit difficult to... I could have reversed the colors, right? I could have made the, the crust the cinnamon cider. There, it kind of looks like a pie though, doesn't it? Try the brush side of the lifter, okay. You guys are so helpful. I think I'm gonna have to cut that little guy out. But you know what, that's okay. That's okay, we can cut quick. 
you just have to remember it's a little bit more you have to be a little more careful because it is um, computer paper and not cardstock and it you know many of our mistakes come out to be the best thing I'll try not to do that on the next one if we have time to do a second one I'm not sure if we will but I'm really loving this this is I'm really pleased about the pie pan I didn't even think of that, but this looks just, I think it looks really great. I don't know what to do about the uh, heat, the steam coming off the pie. What do you think I should do? I could hand draw that in. That's a little scary, but what do you think? Let me know what you think about the, um, to, what to do with the steam. I do love this pie though, don't you? I mean, is it making you hungry for a pie? It's really making me very hungry for a pie. Now, I do have some people that are gonna watch this on my YouTube channel. They'll see this as a rerun. So for those of you who are watching on YouTube, I, you're gonna have to take this and now you've got some ideas, and I would love for you to email me at Peggy at PrettyPaperCards.com and let me know how, um, and send me pictures if you make these cards. All of you, I love to see your pictures. Just send them by email. Take a little picture with your phone and pop it into an email because I love to see what you all do with these things. Okay, now this is, do I have any ideas? No ideas yet about the steam? Come on, come on friends. We need some ideas about the steam. Okay, let me do, let me just go right along it and see if I can, how that'll look. We'll just go right up around it like that. Okay, let's try it and we'll come right down like this. This might work. Here we go again, okay, almost done. See, I really didn't plan on cutting it out. I was gonna do a different thing, but alrighty, there's our pie. Rub the back side of the steam with the side of a pencil. Oh my goodness, Allison, that sounds hard. It sounds like I don't know how to do that right now. And then trace over the top onto the paper. Oh, yes, I remember that. You know what? I'm not going to do it now, though. That's it. <laughs> okay, you guys are fabulous. <laughs> yeah, I love you. Okay, let me just trim this little bit one more time. Just a little more trimming right in there. And there's, I think I'm going to leave it like this. I might do that for the next one. Okay, let me see how much time. I've got. I don't know that I have time for a second one. But I'm going to just go with this. Now, what I wanted to show you, and you know what, I'll make the other one and post it on my, on my uh, Facebook page, okay, Allison? Um, so, the, what, the way I've been adhering this, because it's, it's pretty delicate, and see, that's how it looks on the underside, is I've been using, because glue might bubble it up, so I've been using some of this uh, Stamp and Seal Plus, and it really has worked out well, and it really doesn't show. Um, on the other side and it's been working really well for me so it, you do have to advance it a bit that is one thing about it but you don't need to put a lot just a little just a little bit right where you want it to be oh boy my fingers stuck okay now I want to get just a tiny bit on the steam let me get a little bit more Okay, now we're ready. And we can put our pie right there. Isn't that cute? I like it, I like it. And just for fun, we can add dimensionals, put this little guy up on some Stampin' Dimensionals here. Because, um, let me see, do I have any more Stampin' Dimensionals? Here we go. Because that adds interest. The minute you put these images onto cardstock, they look fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. 
And that's basically what I wanted to tell you. And we'll see here in one second, I'm going to do the sentiment. And we'll see how, I'll sh maybe I can show you what I was going to show you before. Okay. Here we go. And we'll put that right in the center. Nice and even. Okay, now our sentiment we're going to use is this one. You're the best thing. Uh, and it says since sliced bread, but I really don't, I just don't like that for this, for this card. So I'm going to cut the paper off and then I have some little pieces. I decided the size that I wanted for my sentiment and it is three quarters by two and a quarter, I think. And so what I'm going to do is, um, first of all, I'm going to bring in my little mini paper trimmer and I'm going to see if I can trim off these lower words here. Just get that. See if I can do it straight. Not quite. Okay, we'll advance it just a little bit more. Yes, Patricia, thanks for enjoying seeing my ideas. I really, this is really how I create. I don't really... Sometimes I copy, but a lot of times it, this is just what I do. I do it right on the fly. Okay, let's try this. There we go. Okay. So we've got that trimmed off. Let's trim our upper part and see if we can get it just about as close. Okay, so we're all ready with our sentiment and our piece of cardstock and I'm just going to run some of this stamp and seal plus along the back here just like that and then I'm just going to lay it over my cardstock just like that and then I'm going to trim the edges from the back just like that okay and there is our sentiment. I know, Patricia, I love the mini, the mini paper trimmer too. So let's get some Stampin' Dimensionals and put this little guy up on some Stampin' Dimensionals. I really like the way this turned out. A mistake turned out to be something good. And you know, um, I like the idea that you said about the steam, but truthfully, you can barely even see that it's an additional piece of paper on there, right? Yeah, so that is raised up. Now we could put, let's see, I know my, my phone is running low on batteries, which is not good, but let me see if I have some little jewels that I could put on here that might work. Hmm, I always go in my little jewel I'll show you my little jewel bin. You might like to see it. Here are all my jewels, and, and I just keep them all in here, and then I keep the retired ones here to the back. Um, you know, these look kind of poppy, poppy-ish. And then I've got red. Let's try these. Okay, so here's red. And here is, I don't know what color that is. That's a little dark, isn't it? Okay, we're going to put just a couple of these. Yeah, it does look great, Allison. Okay, we'll just put a couple of these little um, red rhinestones just for fun. Just to, you know, you got to give it a little bling, right? And we want to do three. There. I think that came out pretty cute. I hope you guys like it, too. Um, I hope you're encouraged to download the um, the digital download, and it's called, again, cre um, oh goodness, what is it called? I wanted to make sure to give you the name, um, United Through Creativity. And so just go on, um, you can just go on my shop link there, and I think it'll pop up. It's one of the first things they have pop up, but I also give you the direct link, and you'll get all the... Oh, I froze. I'm so sorry. And you'll get all the downloads, and you can do the same thing. So I'll make that other 
card and I'll post that on my blog and on Facebook tomorrow. We'll see how the other one turns out. Let me just come back here. Let's see. Technology. We try, don't we? Thank you all so much. And again, don't forget, if you had, if you ever thought of joining Stampin' Up, if you want a discount, now is the time. Email me, Peggy, at prettypapercards.com. And I'll see you guys on Friday, okay? Thank you so much. Bye-bye.